The Florida Bar is now actively investigating former public defender Matt Shirk, and Shirk could be at risk of losing his license to practice law. Today, the bar announced the formal investigation, which will focus on a scathing report on Shirk from a Duval County grand jury back in 2014. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner talked with the bar spokesman today and also reached out to Shirk. Lindsay? My call to Matt Shirk went to voicemail. I have not heard back tonight. We understand he is overseas with his wife, but when he gets back home, the Florida Bar says he's going to receive a letter from them letting him know he is under their investigative eye, and he has just 15 days to respond. Matt Shirk's political career began unraveling in 2013. That is when he hired these two waitresses from a local bar and brought them downtown to his office for work. They had no legal experience and their salaries were funded with your taxpayer dollars. Inside the building, we now know Shirk built a shower in his office and hid it from city inspectors, also paid for by taxpayer dollars. And he was serving alcohol in his office, something not allowed by the city of Jacksonville. A previous News 4 Jacks investigation found he was also emailing employees suggestive messages, including this e-card, to a third female worker that read, I think if we had sex, there would be very minimal awkwardness afterwards. Sure at the time was a married father. His wife, Michelle, came to the office and confronted the women in a blow-up that made news stories for months. It all led to a grand jury investigation. The 16-page report found of Shirk, he has put his personal interests first and he acted as if his office was his playpen, intended to amuse and indulge his whims. In so doing, he has shown himself to be lacking the maturity to hold that office and possessed of an entitlement mentality that is simply unacceptable. The grand jury calls upon Shirk to immediately resign from his position, but Shirk did not. He then sat down exclusively with our Tom Wills to defend himself and to say he was staying in office because he wasn't charged with a crime. I'm not going to say that the grand jury was wrong, but they relied on testimony that was inaccurate. At that time, the Florida Bar could not investigate Shirk, the attorney, because Shirk was also a constitutional officer. Now, the public information director of the Florida Bar, Francine Walker, told me today from Tallahassee that all changed this week. When your new public defender was sworn in, then Mr. Shirk came back under Florida Bar jurisdiction. She says her office gets thousands of complaints every year and more complaints against Shirk for his conduct could well, still come in and be and part of this new investigation. Right now, the focus is on that grand jury report and its damning findings. We take our responsibility of regulating the conduct of lawyers to protect the public very, very seriously. The process could take 6 to 12 months. Discipline could include disbarment, suspension, public reprimand, or admonishment. If the bar finds there were violations of their rules, then his case would go to a grievance committee that could then file a complaint all the way up to the state Supreme Court. You were down at the public defender's office yesterday. Is that shower still there? It is still there. I saw it with my own eyes. And I actually spoke with a source who tells me that Shirk and his staff were able to hide it from city inspectors. They actually used uh, fake drywall and they used like a fake flooring uh, situation so that when inspectors came in, it appeared to be a closet and not a shower. So once it passed inspection, it was then used as a functional shower. Thank you, Lindsay.